YouTube was going on, man. I don't mean to spoil this game for you. All I'm gonna say is, comes down to the last play. It really does. It really does. Bringing you some CFM gameplay right here. I'm taking out some dude by the name of Soldier Slim. I got the Patriots completely revamped team. Every team here is like a mud team on crack. Obviously, there's no AP limit, so we're on crack. As you can see, we're getting the ball off first to start off the game. This dude has arguably one of the most stacked teams in this CFM. Comes in at a 97 overall, and us, yeah, we're a 90. Yeah, we're a 90. Probably, this, I believe, the second worst team in the CFM, if not the worst. But definitely, it is something that... It's going to come at a disadvantage at times. So you can see, I mean, rocking that Cincinnati Bengals playbook. I'm trying to call different stuff, catch them off guard. Took that route combo from Trips tight end. Use it in Trey Offset. Pick up a nice gain right there to John o. Smith. We got Steve McNair at quarterback, the legend. Titans legend himself. And he going to put in work at times. It does suck that most of the quarterbacks in this CFM are like 200 speed with escape and all and yeah my quarterback only has 85 which definitely hurts at times i am not gonna lie to you guys it definitely hurts at times you can see everything's pretty much covered good defense by him and then as i try to throw the ball he just fumbles if there's an issue with mcnair it's this fumbles another thing with this cfm Everyone has a custom playbook because I'm one of the few, if not the only one, using a true stock playbook. I stick to my roots. I'm not going to use no custom to win no games. I don't need it. Will it be nice to have bunch tight end, bunch offset, bunch, and every anything trips tight end, you trips all in one? Hell yeah, that would be nice. But I ain't going to be that one of them. You see, he's taking his check downs. And we're fine with that. I ain't worried about him taking his check downs. It sucks that he fumbled. And he fumbles a lot. So, I just want to try to keep this man in the pocket. Because he got Johnny Menzel. And Johnny Menzel has like 94 speed. So, like I said, my team's a 90 overall. It's only so much I could do. And flat routes with booty naked open. Like a Kim Kardashian porno. And just like that, he's in the end zone. And it was definitely a frustrating game, to say the least. Because, like I said, all these people got custom playbooks. You don't even know what, what they're going to throw at you. They might, have, they might have one drive all in bunch. They might have another drive. I don't know. I form <laughs> another drive. I don't know, spread or doubles. I don't fucking know. But they're going to throw whatever they want at you. It's like, yeah, got you. Got you, got you. It's up to you to be king of just. And that's all it is, my boy. That's all it is. You see, we're in tight wide off right there. Wanted to throw the deep crosser. Probably our favorite play in that formation. But we take our check down, pick up a first down. I'm trying to pick up the tempo. Not, I don't want him getting his adjustments off. Because I'm pretty mad about that foam. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going back to that combo. Really good combo right there. And... This time we had an aggressive catch that. I did not trust to secure a possession right there. Probably would have led to an acro pick. Knowing my luck, it's probably what was going to happen right there. So now you see there we can go to our trusty verticals with the Texas and a drag. Why did I call it drag? I don't know. And, you know, another aggressive catch. Yeah, I might think that's a bad read. That's a questionable read. But no, as the first quarter comes to an end. He has inside leverage, and the safeties are playing over top, so why would I not aggressive catch that? I did not trust doing a secure for the same reason. Maybe he gets knocked out. So now here, I I got so lucky. Just look at that. Oh, my God. That's a Mazomatic read right there. I'm blind as a bitch. But anyways, he was supposed to... Let me explain that right there. He was supposed to keep running towards the other side of the end zone and he didn't he didn't so now here 
good awareness by me. I knew he was going to rush me, so I, I was going to throw that. And there's no way his lineman picks it off. If his lineman somehow picks it off, then you know, he's the best. He's the best. He's the demon goon. Here, he's just too fast for his one-step corner. And just like that, my creative player is in the end zone. So another thing about this CFM, everyone has a creative player. So they made me, they put my name on a wide receiver. Good height, 98 speed. And he is a goon. Or should I say, I am a goon. You see me, I got 23 catches. I got my third touchdown of the season. So I'm a goon. This is like 2K my career right here. Except you controlling the whole team. And Devin McCourty has acrobat. Like, I, I don't understand this game, man. Like, I really thought has he fucking jukes the fuck out of me but i i really thought he would have got that there got that man he didn't he didn't and then i get stuck on my guy and because of that he gets another touchdown so now i'm really frustrated i was really frustrated with that because i felt like if i didn't get bumped by my defender most likely would have either picked it off or at least deflected it. So now here, I'm just trying to get something going. Definitely frustrated. I will say that. I think he... No, I think he's, he's in wide. But he uses 3-3-5 out as well. That's another thing. He has a custom defensive playbook. Also not a bad read. I don't care what you got to say. I tried to juke him. But thank God he held on to the ball. Secure that loaf of bread, my boy. But like I said, we're trying to get something going. Because it is not in our favor right now. And now he's shedding like crazy. He got like, I don't know, like 900 unpredictables out there. Something like that. He got something like that. I'm just trying to set up anything. And nothing's open. Nothing's open. Nothing's open. And I, I'm probably glad that was an incompletion because, you know, I was in a slight bag, in a, in a, in a very, very slight bag. And now his just, his contain goes crazy and I just can't get the ball off. That's my fault though. I should have stepped, as soon as I saw him breaking like that, I should have just stepped up into the pocket, but too late now. Now we got to get another stop. 14-7 and... Yeah, that happened. Didn't get the fucking pick. We didn't get the fucking pick. That's the second and ten, and he runs the ball, and he has freight train on his running back, which is not activated yet, and we kind of don't want that activated. I think he has bazooka on Manziel, too. So now it's a two-minute warning. I'm just trying to find a way to get a stop, man. It's, it's definitely one of those games where it's like, you know you are better than your opponent. But they're just hiking the right place. Not doing a lot of adjustments. And then and that's kind of it. That's it. That's it. Runs the ball again with his running back. So now there's a minute left. And throws it again to his running back. Minute left in the half, and you know I, I'm 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 really frustrated at this point. Like at this point, I feel like honestly throwing in the towel. I had a curl flat instead of a hook curl there. The hook curl probably would have played that, and he's only missed one pass, so I'm not gonna hold it. I cannot stop this man. Cannot stop this man, and he's just running the most basic combos, and he jukes into a fumble, and he does not fumble. Like what? is this game man like i i've no idea what this game is like i don't know i don't know if we're playing playing backbreaker from ps3 or we're playing madden cuz and then that i don't even know what to say there i don't know if i even had a chance to get in that pick but it's about to be 21-7 yeah it's 21-7 not good <laughs> not good coming into the second half it's worse the reason it's worse is because he gets ball and if i don't get a stop here pretty much ggs and 
I think I have like a 30 yard cloud out there and he I don't know what he's doing he's like jacking off to the cheerleaders or something because dude I don't know and then I sent the guy I'm, I'm a mess right now I'm I'm looking like one of those mud bots out there with like the PSN name purple kitty 69 I'm just getting flooded <laughs> ain't no other way to say it. it's a flood right now it is not looking good so y'all yeah, know me I ain't no quitter Mama ain't raised no bitch. And yeah, we gonna try to make something happen. Take our check down right there. She probably should have gone out of bounds, say some clock, but like I said, I'm frustrated with how this game is going because I really don't believe that he should be winning this game. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So now here he's just my crosser is wide open wide open booty naked open like a prison cell shower hall and uh, no he, we just he just get an insta shed it's nice the second is 17 <sighs> then he gets the swat of the year if that was a pick that's probably the game probably probably the game now it's a third and 17 and uh, yeah we're a yard short or two yards short. Yeah, it's a four for one. And I just want to make sure I get this first down. And somehow we did it. We beat the man press. You see how tired that man is. I was no huddling like crazy. So that's another thing about this CFM. The commissioner, he adjusted the way stamina is because of how good the teams are. So he could assess and what's it called? Not assess, but reinforce team building. So that's the reason why he like these guys are so tired. It's not like mud or your regular CFM. You know, they get tired a lot, a lot faster. So now we down to two scores. We got to find a way to get a stop. And somehow he completes that. He somehow breaks another tackle. Turns it into a three-yard pickup. I feel like that should have gone out of bounds. But like I said, this game is really not going my way. Breaks another tackle. And his running back is just putting in work. Now, now he's in split close. I'm just getting the fucking custom tour now. He was bunch, doubles, piss, like not pistol, split close. I think he even used trips tight end. And he used some weird ass shit. Now he's in split close. Like, oh my god. It's like this man literally went into the custom playbook section and he added like one out of everything. Now he goes to like strong, tight, whatever the fuck that is. Only picks up a yard, so we're good with that. So now here we got to get a stop. We got to get a stop. And we get our stop. We get our stop. And you see, we're kind of short on time. He plays, takes a conservative route, which works in our favor. He kicks his three. That's fine by me. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. We got to find a way to mount a comeback because if we mess up here, it is pretty much GG's. An inaccurate throw for some reason, but actually worked in our favor. And nice game by Joe Mixon going off field. And just like that, coming into the fourth quarter, six minutes left and take our check down. We actually spun. We sh really shouldn't have spun there. But... My dumbass decided to spin anyways, but yeah, so that happened. So down here, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure I pick up this first down, stay alive. Try to save as much clock as I possibly can. And yeah, that, that happened. I think there was someone open. I think my hitch was open at the last minute. And yeah, this is the ball game right here. Fourth and eight. And yeah. You saw you saw the pause thing pop up. I was gonna try to quit out, but I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just I'm just gonna play this game. And then you can see we got lucky right there. Devin McCourty finally touches the fucking ball and picks it off how he's supposed to. And it's a pick six. So we got life now. It's a two possession game. We got life now. I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know if he meant to bullet that. But regardless, uh, you folded, my boy. You folded once. 
we're going to make sure or try to make sure that you could fold again coming out in on sidekick like i said if there's any life or any hope i gotta make sure this dude don't clock me and as i say that we actually get the on sidekick. kick this is the first on site kick i get all mad in people have gone on site kicks on me this is the first one i ever get and now <laughs> Now I I really I, f I feel the momentum I I really do I feel the momentum. It's a two score game. I understand that, but I I feel like I could win this game. I really do, I really do, I really do. Even though he has me in a bag, I wait, I wait, I wait, and I throw it right on time. A split second later, and that's a pick. I think that's Darius Slay. You know, thank you for the route bounces, but. Yeah, man. Now we gotta we gotta make sure we mount this comeback for real, for real. Tight window, as tight as the Trojan, and now we it's first and goal at the eight yard line. We gotta score, man. We we gotta score. Like there's nothing else we could do here. We cannot kick three, cannot take the conservative route, and nothing's really open. And now look at the stick work. I ran all, bro. I had my stick all the way to the right, and his guy got. Stuck stuck and i scrambled in for the end zone and now it's a three score game y'all remember we were down 28 to 7 it's been 21 to 3 since we were down 28 to 7 and the good thing is that with this cfm normally in a regular mud game attorney game comp game you gonna chew clock but the commissioner instilled a rule where you can't chew clock unless it's under two minutes. And thank you for that. Like, thank you for that. So now here, he's in a slight bag. He gets the route bounce off field. He makes two guys miss, making me look silly as hell. But he goes out of bounds, so it saves me from using a timeout early, which I was not planning on using a timeout. So now my guys actually they actually want to put in work. He, like like I said, the stamina thing sucks because you saw Josh Jacob right there. And then Devin McCourty once again. Oh, man, I love that, man. I, I need to make sure that I find his locker. That way I could drink his bath water after the game. But you look how tired my team is. And you see, I go on conservative. I'm going to make sure he does not get this ball back. I'm going to make sure he does not get this ball back. See, we run, we're running the ball right there. Two minute warning. We all make sure he does not get this ball back. Is either we get seven or we get three. But I kind of don't want to go to overtime. So we might just go go for it all. Go for seven right now. And if we could milk down this clock without chewing it as much as possible, we gonna do it. We gonna do it. We gonna do it. See nothing's really open right there. Had to throw the ball away. Not good not good at all but we went back to our favorite play a little that across was going to be open but we took our check down with the tight end go out of bounds first and 10 of the 42 i did not want to go out of bounds there it was just kind of to like avoid a fumble and the reason i say that is because i fumbled on conservative before and it was with John o. Smith too, so fuck that guy. You can see I, I get baited. I, I, I sold the fucking bag. Whoever Adderley is, is just an absolute god. He picks the ball off, and now it's a minute 41 left in this game. And I I, I don't know what, what to do anymore. He's running the ball, which any smart person would take my first time out. I don't know what to do right here. I got to find a way to get a stop or force him to throw some dumb shit. And somehow win this game but right now it's not looking too good now he's going to normal wild close like i said he has every formation in the book he literally went to custom playbook and just pressed everything at once he button mashed his keyboard and you can see look at my 30 go crazy that's asante samuel with the snag of the year need to get his bath water too because that was crazy and Saw Joe Mixon get injured. That's the thing. That was telling y'all about the stamina. So for the rest of the game, I just use my backup running back. I don't really need Mixon. This guy is like one speed less. So yeah, now we got to get on a money drive. Somehow not folded because we have two timeouts. So we really cannot stop this clock. We really can't stop this clock in case we fold. 
in case we fold. So now here we go to post wheel drag. Someone is offside. This is a free play. Does not matter. The crosser is booty naked open. Booty naked open. And just like that, we are on our side of the 50. And there's life. Like I said, we either go and kick seven. I mean, kick three. We're going to go for seven. But I want to go for seven. So now he's in this two, four, five odd. I guess he's going to try to shoot my run. Does it? I pick up a decent pickup. Decent pickup right there. Not going to be mad about that. And like I said, I want to make sure he does not get this ball back. And I don't even know who got subbed into the game. All I know is, is some dude with dreads. Take my check down. And stays in bounds. And he somehow does not fumble. So, John o. Smith, thank you so much because you sold the bag in one of our games. Actually, the first game of the season, you sold the bag. So, fuck you. I, I still I am not happy with you. So, you see Joe Mixon is back and we kind of need it. Inside zone, breaks a tackle. And just like that, seven seconds left in the game. We took the lead. We came storming back. We were down 28 to 7. We are up 35 to 31. I don't know what it is. I think the Patriots uniforms got some DDA. I think Tom Brady was in the stands for us because this was crazy. You can see we're squib kicking. And reason I, I squib kick is to take more, more time off the clock. You can see three seconds. Should have been four, but three seconds came off the clock, and we're good with that. So now you see, I am not taking no chances, bro. I'm playing. I'm going man three deep. I probably pulled off the comeback of the year. So I need to come out with this win. You see, I'm running straight up. I'm running straight up. And now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's fucking running back. He's running back. He's running back. He's running back. Mossed. My fucking DB. And if it's not for 21 and Mike Haynes, I lost. I lost. But thanks to them boys, we caught the dub. Insane comeback. Probably the game of the year. Probably my, probably one of my most memorable games. Play Madden 22 all year long. It's definitely not the best game in the world by any means. Everyone knows that. But shout out to this man. He had to come. He came out, fucked me up. He made me work, and I clutched up. This is why when I was younger, I used to call myself Mr. Fourth Quarter, Captain Clutch, all that weird ass shit. But those names are dead. But deep down inside, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I still feel like I'm that person. And you saw it right there firsthand. What was it? 30, no, 28 points in the second half. Pretty much outscored him 28 to 3, technically speaking, in the second half after that touchdown. After that touchdown he got early on, pretty much outscored him 28 to 3 in the second half. Shout out to this guy. Definitely a hell game. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you like this gameplay, come to my Twitch. Show some love. Y'all be easy.